Hi, so today I'm going to be taking a look at the SRAM X01 drivetrain. Um, I'm going to be using this with a uh, SRAM XX1 uh, black chain, uh, just because there's um, not much uh, price difference between this and the silver one. I think the black one looked a bit nicer. Um, it's a fancy chain, I'm sure there's quite a lot of technology in it. But uh, basically, it's just a slimmed down version of the 11 speed chain with this uh, special um, uh, power link to it. But uh, on to the uh, main parts of the system. So I'll start with the uh, shifter. Uh, they come in these uh, pretty cool boxes. It's got like a metallic -y finish to it, sort of an embossed thing. Just the usual uh, SRAM guides. Some foam wrapping. And then the uh, shifter itself. Same basic design that they've been using since the uh, nine speed. Uh, really good, um, easy attachment uh, point for it. Comes with the uh, gear cable obviously fitted. I say this every time, but for this price, it really should have some uh, outer with it. But I'm um, going to be using custom outer in it anyway, so it doesn't really bother me that much. And it's got the uh, nice Eagle logo on that. Take a look at the mech. So the, a few changes uh, on this from the uh, 11 speed. Comes with this uh, handy tool for setting your uh, B tension screw, which is quite handy because uh, if you didn't get it right on the 11 speed, and I'm sure it's the same on this, uh, your gears wouldn't play right. Basically, all you do is you just uh, stick that around the uh, top jockey wheel, uh, line it up. And then line this up with your teeth on the cassette. Obviously, adjusting with the uh, B tension screw. Yeah. So just have a look around the uh, mech itself. Some nice little details on it with the uh, Eagle logo. Of course, you won't see any of this while you're riding. But still, so as you can see, it's got a uh, big uh, 14 tooth. Um, jockey wheel on the lower part of the cage and it's still narrow wide on the uh, bottom one but they've uh, got rid of it on the top which is always a problem on the 11 speed because um, the chain would slip off um, and then you just end up grinding into your gears they've also fixed I believe um, on the uh, mounting point where it attached to the uh, mech hanger uh, the 11 speeds um, would always uh, unwind themselves so you'd find after a, a few rides that you'd have to tighten this back up um because it just unwound itself and it wasn't changing gear properly there was a fix by using some uh, ptfe tape but it really shouldn't have been an issue but um they seem to have uh, addressed it on this one i believe it's a fairly long cage on it it's going to have to be for the spread of the gears Quite a nice, uh, nice mech though. They seem to have uh, brought the profile in slightly, so it shouldn't stick out quite as much on the uh, on the frame. Now we get on to the uh, cassette. So I'm sure this is going to look uh, comically large when I open it. Up. Yep, and it does. It looks absolutely massive. So this is a. 10 tooth to uh, 50 tooth so it's uh, all one piece and then it's um, the the 50 tooth is uh, just pinned onto the back it uses the same uh, XD uh, driver body so pretty light I've got a um, 203 uh, brake rotor here so you can see for comparison just how uh, big the cassette is. So if you've got one of these on your bike, you can uh, sort of visually gauge how big it is. Just a really quick look at the SRAM X01 Eagle drivetrain. Uh, if you've got any uh, comments or questions, please feel free to leave them in the box below. Uh, thumbs up are always appreciated, and thanks again for watching.